there's something renewable about being on a university campus. There's sort of like an adrenaline rush and all these memories sweep back. It is like home. I feel humbled by being able to be connected to it. Georgetown has had such a profound effect on my life. It really shaped who I turned out to be. I have spent more than half of my life here at Georgetown. I feel like I'm a Georgetown person. I came from nothing to something at Georgetown. That, to me, is an incredible gift. I was a pretty heavily recruited high school basketball player. Was recruited by some of the top teams in the country. But uh, Georgetown had a big reputation in New Jersey. In those days, you didn't jump on airplanes and, and go see what schools were like. You heard about them. And I had heard some, some things about Georgetown that made it very, very attractive. We visited Georgetown, and I walked on campus, and it felt like home. I applied to Georgetown, only Georgetown, and as luck would have it, uh, I got accepted. Then my journey started. In my first semester, I struggled in math and physics, and Father Selinger asked me to come see him. He said, I'm gonna tell you something you don't wanna hear. You're gonna be a better student than you'll ever be a basketball player. He set my sights really high. We were called upon to recite in class, and you had better be prepared. It was working out and making sure that you were fit for the task. Well, I had a pretty select group of students. Sometimes I was challenging them, and sometimes they were challenging me. My first impression was the values of the philosophy of the Jesuit education, academic excellence, but service to others, service to the most needed. One of the best experiences of Georgetown is the wonderful housemates that I had on 35th and P. They are lifetime friends. When I uh, checked into my room on 5th New North, dorm prefect he said, David, do you mind if I play this album? And so he put on the Chimes 1953 album. I'd never heard of the Chimes. Since I sang in high school and everything, I said, wow. He said, well, you got to try out. So I did. Once a chime, always a chime. I was involved in Mask and Bobble. And then I also was a performer and then eventually the producer of Cabaret. Working in those two, I was able to sort of plant the seeds of a potential future in entertainment and media. And it really helped for me build my confidence. I went to law school on a scholarship and that was because of what I had accomplished here at Georgetown. What I learned as a law clerk informed what I did in the Pentagon. What I learned in the Pentagon informed what I did as a lawyer. What I did as a lawyer informed what I did as commissioner of the National Football League. I honestly feel that without the impact of a Georgetown education coupled with that Jesuit molding, I would not have necessarily been able to transfer in my career from trial work, practicing law, to the NFL. The basic sound ethics and uh, morals that uh, are just part of Georgetown certainly stuck with me in the, my business career. So much of succeeding in business is understanding people and relating to people and having empathy for people. Georgetown gave me those tools and that foundation to pursue a career in international business. I have tried to use my experiences and connections off the campus for the betterment of the university and the students. Global Human Development Program is not simply economics, it's not simply humanitarian work, it's not simply looking at culture. It is trying to put them together so that a student can leave here and go into any number of fields. One of my accomplishments is to create these international programs over 20 years ago. And at the beginning, it just was uh, very few students that participate, and now around 30 to 40 percent of the medical school participate. You're going to be there for four weeks. For four weeks. I want four the weeks, students yes. to experience the gap between poverty and, and wealth. 
younger people are a little bit timid about wanting to take a plunge into the entertainment industry because it's a quite an ambiguous thing and you don't know if it's going to ever work out. GEMA will connect them to alumni and suddenly, wow, it becomes more of a reality that maybe I could do this. One of the most impressive things about the GEMA Rock Show is we have six decades of graduating classes who participate in it. It's just so great to come full circle. I was back in New York working at Scholastic International and they said, David, would you consider making a three-year pledge to the university? I said, let's name it the Chimes Endowment Fund, General Purposes of the Library. And that started it. And never would I have imagined that it uh, would evolve into what it is now. It's a privilege to be engaged with Georgetown on the Board of Governors, AAP, uh, and now um, the Parent Council for MSB, and being a student again in the Global MBA program. My Georgetown experience is a lifetime of learning. I was called upon by Georgetown to help in some of the fundraising, ultimately to serve on the Board of Visitors for the law school. And to me, that was an honor. Gail and I formed a clinical fellowship uh, for civil rights and, and justice. And being on the Board of Visitors enabled us to not only do it, but to see the wisdom in doing it. Well, I think I'm most proud of the fact that people are excited about serving on the board. People want to serve on the board. And people have a vision for Georgetown that they didn't have perhaps uh, 10 years ago. They understand now that if we all work together and set our goals really high, the sky's the limit. It's very exciting to see John Carroll coming to LA. Our biggest hope with John Carroll Weekend is to really engage our alumni base in Los Angeles and, and create a deeper connection to Georgetown. When I learned that I was being chosen for the John Carroll Award, I was really thrilled. Well, I'm honored. It makes all the stuff that I've done for the library and school over years all the more meaningful. To be worthy of consideration alone is very humbling. And in particular because it's from Georgetown and from my Hoya family. I mean, I pinched myself that I'm receiving this award is incredible. Being with Georgetown people sort of makes it all right. And, and it's kind of like you're getting together with your family to celebrate something good.